Welcome to Ask Greg. I'm Greg. I'm not wearing my pants. Jen Helgerson writes, Ever since I broke up with my last boyfriend about two years ago, I struggle getting past a first date. Now, part of me thinks that I'm afraid to get hurt again, but the other part gets really irritated by the thing that the guy does on the first date. Should I force myself to go on a second date? Yes! Yes, you should. That's what dating is. It's annoying and hard and difficult, and people are not fun until they are. I'm annoying, and look, somebody married me. How about that? Weird. So just keep doing it. That's it. For Christ's sake, it's just a f***ing date. Do it, my friend. And Jen Haywood, another Jen, writes in, Hi, Greg, I'm 28 and still single. <laughs> well, it's already over for you then, Jen. Oh, I'm sorry. I continued the question. How do I find the right guy for me, and how will I know that it's him? Thanks. Love, Jen. Jen, the light on his forehead will light up, and you'll know exactly that it's time. Remember like in Logan's Run when people's hands would light up and then they'd die? No, you don't remember that because you're 28 and I'm 107. That's the first science fiction film ever made. I'm an old man. Kid, you're 28, just keep dating. You'll know when you know because when you know, then suddenly you go, oh, crap, and the rest of it's all sh** until it's good. Beth Cook asks, Dear Greg, are you ever going to archive the Ask Greg webisodes that we obsessives, so we obsessives can go back and watch them over and over again? Because that would be awesome. It would be. We are going to archive them. And we're also going to release them in pill form. And you can wear them as a sweater. I'm Greg Barron, and I'm wearing a sweater. Again. <laughs> oh, cupcake -un.